so hello once again and today i am going to show you how to do this animation which i have shown you in my last video this square from position 1 to position 2 okay in my last video i have shown you the tools uh, how to draw this one and what are the features and all so that was a basic tutorial so in this video i am going to explain you all the things here the three ways how we can move the square from position 1 to position 2 and I'll explain you a little bit about timeline this one so without much ado let's get started so as you can see here I have placed two squares uh, this one is position 1 and this one is position 2 so the first one I'll do from left to right uh, it will slide and it's a simple animation without any principle of animation applied and that I'll show you here so before beginning I'll explain you a little bit on this timeline if you don't know okay so this area is called timeline as you can see over here and here you can see the different layers you can create by pressing this icon it is written new layer if you can see over here and this one is the folder and this one to delete any layer so first of all I have created one BG this one uh, the blue line nothing to do much and the uh, and next layer is the reference layer where I have placed two object to give you an idea from where to where the square will move okay so this is only for display and guidance so the third one layer is the anim one where I have created the animation without any principle okay so let me hide the guide otherwise we'll get confused so I'll hide this one and I'll show it to you the animation so I'll play it how can we play you will see over here this area this is the area from where you can play your animation see this one either you can press enter or play and these are like onion skin it is there this one is also an onion skin but only outlines and this one multiple frames all these tools I'll explain you in future but for the time being I'll give you some exercises which you have to do to gain the knowledge or get the grip in animation so the way in which I am explaining and giving you task to do please do it then only you can understand about animation and slowly slowly you can do little complicated animation as well so coming back to our topic this one is the first image and this one is the second image so I want to take this square this object from this position to this position okay so what I have done I have just created the same object here and here and I just clicked here right click created classic twin so it's very simple it will go from here to here but here is no principle of animation there is no slow in slow out what is slow in slow out I'll show you first this one see this is the onion skin where you can see the motion the frames how it is moving like if you'll see from here every frame is divided in equal space so there is no slow in no slow out only equal spacing and timing okay no variation so if I'll play here you can see equally it is moving it's not going slow it's not going fast for that change what I have done over here I have just created once again the animation but this time I'll show you the animation by pressing enter or play see so if I press play and you can see see at the end it is getting slower so that slow in slow out action is there see if I'll show you the frames in between then see I'm dragging it to show all the frames over here so you can closely observe here the drawings are more the frames are more to make the object slow down okay so while I'll press play once again you can see here more drawings are there to make it slow so for vice versa I'll show it to you in this I'll hide the onion skin and I'll play first see this is from slow to fast okay slow out it's getting slow out so here I'll open the onion skin and see the frames so here you can see the first few frames it is more frames are there to show the object slow and when it is going out it is separated more the space is more between the two or multiple uh, frames while starting a car uh, I have given one example in some of my videos I'll put the link below where I have explained you about the car animation it is exactly the same 
So how I have done this without adding drawings in between, only in between. I'll first uh, switch off this onion skin and I'll go here. If I'll click here, this is the area of classic twin. Okay, this is the area of twin. And by clicking this, you will see in right hand side properties. Here it is mentioned twinning. Below that, you can see classic ease and that is minus 100. If I'll click this edit one, you can see the graph. So this is minus 100. That means it is from slow to fast. Okay. And in case of this, I'll hit once again in this area and you can see over here it is 100 before it was minus 100 and now it is 100 so while getting towards the end it is getting slower so this is the difference you can do in your animation by using this twin and its property i hope you have understood this one and this is very simple uh, you can add in your object if it is a single object and you are just manipulating the timing so this is for this straight sliding animation you can change the speed and manipulate it according to your wish okay so next i'll jump to another one that is rolling so this one is another one uh, which i have done it uh, very simply merely just adding one pose in between i'll show it to you see this is the animation simple but not that much effective okay because uh, here only cut out animation you can see but the principle is missing over here okay so what i have done over here here number one if you'll see the drawing this one is number one drawing and this one is the second drawing which is the identical drawing of this and in between i have just added this one by rotating the same object this one is the same object and how i have uh, rotated this object i'll tell you that also it's a type of trick if you're new to this animate cc i'll tell you this i'll select this object here and press this one this one is the transform tool or you can press q in your keyboard and this one will get selected see and what i have done over here i have just kept the first drawing and this middle point is there this i shifted from middle to here and slowly i wrote it like this so like that you can do and uh, this transform tool is also very important you need to do some rotating from center or from side that depends on the center point which i have just shown you so with the help of that you can rotate your object <coughs> i hope you understood this one uh, here only the principle of animation is missing i'll add that animation principle and show it to you this one you can see okay i hope you got the point before it was something like this okay and now it is like this so you can see there are more keys as compared to the before layer this roll layer i have included or added more keys why i'll show it to you this one is the first drawing as before and this one i kept one drawing which will show the action before means it is an anticipation for rotating for giving that force this one that's why it is called anticipation or you can say antique okay this is one of the most important principle of animation to give that feel of live you need to add this principle of animation how to give antique it is generally an opposite action which give your audience that idea character or object is going to do something so while doing only you will get to know about this more so this one is the antique slowly i kept here a shape twin if i'll click it here and right click you can see it's a shape twin because it is changing the shape from here to here i just right clicked here and clicked shape twin as it is already applied that's why it is showing remove shape twin so here i have just clicked and created shape twin if i'll come here it is a zero i have not added any flowing slowout over here if you want you can give here suppose i will click here and if i will move like this and if i'll click over here and i'll move like this let's see what is the effect i'll play it see the effect is something new from before and now what i'll do i'll just click it here again and i'll delete this one see it is already mentioned over here what you want to do ease in or ease out let's go for ease in okay see the graph and let me see is working or not 
so I don't like that easing I'll apply something different maybe cancel and custom classic is ease, ease in and out let's go for it intensity I can let's see okay so likewise you can check whether your animation is according to your thinking or not or you can manipulate everything over here the properties are given here only thing you need to understand how to show the properties over here because now you can see it is not mentioned about twin and all so for bringing the twin over properties on the property panel you need to click it here then only that property will come suppose you want to get the property of pen or pencil then you have to select it likewise in twin also you need to select that area then only that twin or is in is out that property will will visible so this one i think you understood this is the antique and then from here i have given this one this one is the drawing which i have used here in my first layer this one this same drawing i just kept it here and what i have done i have two ivs for this and this okay as you can see here see so it will look like it is moving i could have kept shape twin from here to here as well but to show you the difference i gave few frames from my own so like this like this see i kept like this but at last what i have done here see all the animations are almost same but i have added few ivs to make it smoother so to make it smoother you need to add some frames and see whether you have to add the in between closer to the end image or the first image because it depends the slow in slow out in drawing so that also will do but while doing these type of exercises you will understand the slow in slow out process that's why i'm giving you to do these type of exercises so that you can understand the meaning of the term slow in slow out so from here to here it is all the same and from here you can see the shape is little bouncing see so here what i have done little squash is there and here you can add some stretch and then squares and then normal position and if you want you can add some cushion as well so these are some principles you have to add but no worries you just do this type of animation to get habituated with the software the tools because instantly if you uh, want to do the animation uh, there is no time to think about the tools and how to use it that will take more time and your mind will distract from doing animation to something else so first you get uh, habituated with the software and tools and then we'll go one by one with the animation process and the principles first one slide you do and this one the rolling animation that also you have to do with the square so this one is the second one and the third one i'll show it to you yeah this one so this one is the jump but here is no principle at all only it is going changing the position that's it so to make it live what i have done i'll show it to you here see so it is looking live it has some life in it that's why it is taking antique that is also in shape twin only antique and then jumping stretch then little cushion hold and then stretch and then squash coming into the normal position okay so if you will apply principles in your animation then your animation will look live so we need to understand the animation first what we are going to do and the movement that we need to understand these are few things you have to practice this three type of animation so this type of animation i did in another software which is called sketchbook and that is also a simple software uh, in which i used to do the character designing there also one tool is there you know new flipbook i did one animation just the same as i have shown you from here and i'll play it so here it is looking more live because i have drawn it but there i didn't i just kept one drawing here all the drawings are actually the same square which i just drag it stretch it and squashed it so these are uh, the things which i have explained you in my first video the intro video with the help of which you can make your animation if you don't know drawing 
बिकॉज विदाउट नोइंग ड्रॉइंग ऑल्सो यू कैन डू द एनिमेशन ओके सिंपल टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन बट इट्स बेटर टू नो ड्रॉइंग इफ यू डोंट नो प्लीज फॉलो माई ट्यूटोरियल्स यू विल अंडरस्टैंड एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन प्लीज लेट मी नो प्रैक्टिस इट इफ यू आर क्लियर अबाउट दीज थ्री एक्सरसाइजेस देन प्लीज कमेंट बिलो सो दैट वी कैन गो वन स्टेप अहेड सो दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे आई होप यू लाइक इट एंड इफ यू लाइक इट hit a thumbs up and share this video with your friends who are interested in animation and if you are here for the first time don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and take care bye bye